Hey, so I am going to set up my studio upstairs and we're going to make a video today. Come, Charlie. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. Hello, bye. That's it. Let the people back home see you. Okay, kids. Oof. This is difficult. Back in April, May 2020, two and a half years ago, um, I made this video and I said, hey, it's going to be a few weeks, a couple of months maybe, to get another video out about my journey through America. Well, it never happened, did it? <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the deal? Uh, I could tell you lots have been going on, I've been so busy, blah blah blah. Truth is, no, I haven't been busy at all. I haven't had any work and it has been a really difficult time for me here. In April, May time last year, we'd been in lockdown for a few weeks. It been it was kind of exciting, it was nerve-wracking, a bit scary, I wasn't sure what was gonna go on. And I was optimistic that, you know, the work come June, July, I'll be working again and I'll be earning some money and I'll be back on the road with with my new life here in Portugal. Truth is, as the weeks went on, jobs got cancelled, no more bookings and I kept going and going and then I started applying for jobs to work for anyone call centers, uh, design offices anyone even that quarter rate pay I was applying for it and I was desperate to get some work and I got rejected, I got rejected, I got rejected just got ghosted, nothing, I, didn't, I couldn't get even through, foot in the door to say, hey guys, I'm Neil, and I'm a photographer, I can do this, or Neil, I, I've, I've worked in design for years, hey, I'm Neil, I know how to touch a keyboard. Nothing, I could not get any work. And I don't speak Portuguese, I'm getting there, but I'm, 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 I'm by no means confident to pick up the phone and go, hey, how can I help you with your technical issue? Impossible. I've had a really difficult time. I've had a handful of, a spattering of jobs, nothing to write home about, and that has really led me to be really depressed and really uncertain about my future and lacking any creativity to to go forwards and, and do cool stuff. And so here I am, uh, two and a half years later, and I haven't got anything to show for it, and I'm very kind of up my own ass about it because it's, it's it's it sucks it really sucks to be sitting on this sofa again talking to the camera saying so I'm going to make this thing and I haven't made it yet and so it comes with some humility and some some honesty to say to you I'm not sure what's going to come of it I've recently last week started a kind of like a vlog cast as I would call it. Uh, sorry if you hear the cracking of the, the doors here right beside me, the, the wind's blowing and they're kind of cracking in and out. Anyway, the the last week I started this vlog cast and the vlog cast is about making a documentary. The, the documentary is the trip that I've been promising you and since it's waited so long now I might as well make a good job of it. And so, while originally and still to, to, to this day I don't want endorsements or financial uh, support from donations of people giving me money, I do want to sort of make it economically viable for myself pushing forwards. And so I'm making a, a a newish YouTube channel where I'm probably going to try and capitalize on my experience of learning how to make a documentary. 
I've been getting certified as a DaVinci Resolve video editor and while I don't know anything about it I do know more than the average person I am going to explore that avenue of what it is like to be a novice entering the world of filmmaking and, and in this capacity making a documentary and there's so much about storytelling and there's so much to do with uh, understanding media management logging and and all the complexities of what what goes into the background of putting footage together I've got maybe hundreds of hours if not tens of hours of footage of me yabbering down a microphone uh, into whether it's my helmet cam from when I was riding or whether I'm just talking to a selfie uh, camera um, from 2015 I, I filmed so much in 2015 and 2016 and there's so much there that I really want to get down to a good story and ultimately as you might remember from my original video that you might have seen when I was interviewed by Everide. He has a conscious goal not to grow his YouTube channel. He's just kind of doing this for the fun of it, uh, for the fun of documenting it. So I'm sure he doesn't want me to say go subscribe to his YouTube channel, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm sure a lot of you long distance travelers or people interested in traveling long distance yeah. uh, would like to see his journey and follow along. I said I didn't want any subscribers. I wanted to produce something, a lasting document for future generations, for family and for whoever might want to see this in the future, even for myself. And so it's with that in mind that this channel, Neil Zinn, is here. It is just a guy who documented a motorbike journey through America. I wasn't after high subscriber counts, I wasn't after endorsements, sponsorship or any financial backing on that trip. That was all self-funded and all self-driven and that's why this thing has fallen behind. If I had a client to answer to I probably would have produced something by now but never happened and I was always itching to sort of find a job or find uh, some sort of thing to go on to after that trip which never came so here I am so I hope this video comes as a good explanation to you and whether you can forgive me uh, <laughs> I hope so so this other channel I'll put a link somewhere I don't know where it goes over there is it over there who knows so um, one thing I would really like to know from you guys and and those who have watched this far could you leave a comment below and, and I mean this not for the algorithm I, I genuinely want to know what is it that you'd like to see now I've 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 been to to meet with screenwriters I've spoken to many family members and friends and I don't know what to deliver now ultimately I would like to have this as a document in the future for me that being the case should I make little episodes about each chapter as I had done in the past or should I just make one long form video about 90 minutes long just summarizing my trip from Portland Oregon all the way down to Mexico my time in Mexico Guatemala and then heading back do you want to see short form like 15 minute videos or would you like to see an hour and, an hour and a half kind of video format or, or if you have another suggestion, tell me, I'd love to know. Um, I've been in contact with Ed March. I don't know if you've seen any of his videos on C90 Adventures. He couldn't help me. I, I actually, actually reached out humbly asking, could you give me some direction? And he didn't answer. And while I've been uh, trying to discuss with other people, I've contacted several people actually and um, mostly got ghosted so it doesn't add to the depression at all uh-uh <laughs> um yeah so 
truthfully, I'd like to know. I know, guaranteed, by the minute I've uploaded this video, I will have lost another I don't know, 100 subscribers, and I'm really not that bothered by it. I find it quite amusing that the subscriber count keeps going up, and then then I will share something or ask a question or create a poll, and, and that will create a loss of followers. Don't care. Would love to know. I'm, I'm I'm interested in knowing what what do you honestly think. I mean, I I'm I'm at a loss here. I've, I've like I say, I've been in a a, a really deep funk, um, very depressed for the last couple of years now, and and this ghost of a project has been haunting me. It's been like the the bane of my life, and uh, yeah. Um, while I'm on the topic of asking questions, I have another question. Um, as I've mentioned, financially this uh, endeavour has been at my own cost. And I'm wondering, how would anyone feel if I put a product placement for buying one of my photographs? Um, as I say, uh, I don't believe in just asking for free money but what I will ask for is if you would like to buy uh, a photograph of mine a print a poster or, or something like that let me know in the comments below what would be cool I mean I want a fair transaction here uh, you don't have to buy anything you can just enjoy my videos and I'll be happy to to just make these videos I, I like I like it when I'm not obligated to do something for something. Doing something for something. Yeah, that, that's, that's about right. What I mean is I want it just to be coming from the heart, not from, from a, you know, a coin-based motivation or incentive. And that's how I always want it to stay. Uh, I want it to stay pure and honest. Um, so if... You guys are okay with that? Let me know. If you're not okay with it, also let me know. I'm I'm cool with it. I, I I have been discussing this with my partner for a while, and you know I, I was like, well, that's probably the fairest compromise I'm willing to go is allow you guys, if you want, you can buy something of mine. I get a little bit a cut of it, and you get a you get a photo out of it, or you get something to put on your wall. It'd be cool to know that someone out there in the world has got one of my prints on their wall or well, at least they bought it. I don't know. It'd be nice. What What do you guys think? I'm, I'm, I'm reaching here. Like, I don't, I don't know. So there's that. And yeah, I, I have future projects lined up. But at this moment, I, the biggest kind of mountain at the moment I'm trying to climb is getting this video this this trip, this 2015, 16 episode of my life, I want it done. I want it put away. I want to forget about it. I want, well, I don't want to forget about it ever, but I want to kind of consolidate it into a video and share it with you guys. And while we're on the topic of, of things in my life, uh, this is Charlie. He's my son. He's my golden boy. He's here as an apprentice in the studio today, helping me with um, some really difficult tasks of speaking to audiences. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know, but yeah, he's uh, he's my golden retriever. I, I got him in May of 2020, shortly after the uh, the video I made. And, uh, yeah, he's grown up to become a nice dog. So, uh, with that in mind, please let me know what you think. I want to know, like a genuinely, like I am wildly insecure here and I need to hear something from someone. And if you're interested in hearing about how to make a documentary or want to see what's going on behind the scenes or just have like a little update of where I'm at with the project, that be going on, on the other channel. I won't be publishing things on here again, telling you about the thing that I'm gonna do, the thing and reminding you of the thing that never comes. So yeah, I will be quiet from now on. Please unsubscribe if you're not interested. 
stay stay here and let me know what you think and I promise you I won't be like talking crap again so thank you namaste and uh, hopefully in the next one <laughs>